Let's take a look at some basic functionalities to help you work with TaxCycle. I have here a family return for whom I'm preparing returns for the parents, grandparents, and children. To view a specific family member's return, click on the drop-down arrow in the sidebar to select a taxpayer. To toggle between spouses and principal taxpayer, press the F5 key on your keyboard. To cycle through all family members, press the Alt and F5 keys simultaneously. This function can also be executed from the Home menu. You can adjust the layout to maximize the form space. Simply minimize the ribbon, as well as the sidebar. You can also adjust the form size from the blue bar at the bottom of the screen. Set the resolution at 100%, fit the full width of the screen. If you have a vertical monitor, you can fit the full page of the screen. Use the plus, minus, or slider to zoom in or out. The sidebar has a tab for each step in the preparation process. Prepare, Review, Transmit, and Print. Unpin it so it opens when you move your mouse over it. Pin it to keep it open. Move it to the right or left of the window as you prefer. The Prepare tab allows you to see all available forms or, as needed, only those that are used require you to review or apply to a specific situation. You can open a form in several ways. Find a form in the sidebar and click on it. Click on the tab if it has already been opened beforehand. Select it from your favorites bar, or click Fast Find from the Home menu, or simply press the F4 key on your keyboard to open the search box. You can search using a form name, a word on a form, a description or slip issuer, and a line or box number. The data fields have different text colors. A purple text is data carried forward from a prior year. Black text is a manually typed in value. And a blue text is a calculated field. When you see an upside down triangle on the left of the calculated field, you can double click or position the cursor on the field and press F6 to jump to the source data. You can also click on the blue link in the description text. Hover the cursor on the link to display the list of multiple data source to select from. When you are in a slip and want to move to another slip of the same type, you can use the arrows, the drop down menu, or the sidebar. Click New Slip to open a blank slip, or Delete Slip to delete the current slip. If the file is linked with a DocCycle file, click Show Slip to jump to the slip in DocCycle. Every time you open a form, a tab is added to the list to allow you to return to it later. You can close the tab by clicking the X or pressing the Escape key. You can click and drag a tab to reorder them. Save your selection as default for all new returns. You want different tabs or order for review? No problem. Open and order tabs accordingly and save them as review tabs. You can now alternate between each. Right click on a tab and select the set of tabs you want to work with. When you have more tabs open than can fit on a page, use the arrows to scroll through the tabs or open the list of tabs to select a form. Click the star to show or hide the favorites bar. This bar can be customized to your needs. To add the current form to the favorites, click on the plus sign on the right of the bar, or click a form tab, then drag and drop it on the bar. To remove a form, right click it. Click, drag and drop to reorder.
the order is saved not only in the current return, but also for all new returns. Same as for the favorites, the Quick Access toolbar at the top left can be customized to access the functions you use most frequently. Click on the down arrow and select the items. Selected items will have a check mark next to them. The items will display on the toolbar in the order in which you selected them. To remove an item from the toolbar, select the checkmarked item from the list.